Hey folks, it's Bradley, and joining me today is my fiance Emily as we embark on a brand new adventure in the game called Grounded. In this video you will see all the funny moments of us interacting with insects and each other, as well as discovering different species of insects and getting into epic battles with giant arachnids willing to take our lives at any point during the experience. So I hope you guys are ready for the first four days of Grounded. It says yard world name. We have to select something. What do you want our the yard to be named? Oh, oh that's a tough question. Backyard again. Back yard again. All right, backyard again, 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 gag. Perfect. <laughs> After naming our world, we are thrown into a cutscene where we learn a little backstory about our characters that we will be playing as, and we are dropped in into a miniature briefcase held by a parachute. Once the case opens, we are free to explore the world and all the creatures around us. Wait, I see your little left hand. Hey, we're here. We're here. Can I hit it? Whack him. Uh, oh, get him, get him. Whack him, whack him. Where'd he go? I am right here, I'm punching him. Ah. He's dead. Field station. Uh, it looks like a field station, just as you well, described what's it. what's that? I don't know. Um, analyze. Oh! I'm analyzing something. I found a folder on the ground. Dirty raw science. Whoa. Oh, an ant! Oh, we can make spears! That's cool. We started gathering resources and learning the basic mechanics of the game, which did involve a little bit of harm. Oh! Ah! <laughs> it's you in the lower back. I'm sorry. I didn't. Ah, I didn't beat it. I can ride him. Yeah. Oh, there's a spider. A spider. Yeah. Looks like an orb weaver. It was during these first few minutes of the game where we realized how dangerous the backyard truly was going to be going forward. Ah, oh, it found me. Ah. Oh God. Spider thing? Yeah, I'm running. Emily then showed me how to emote. <laughs> oh, that sound is miserable. There we go. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, we should probably make a house or something. Okay, you know? yes, I agree. With the plan set in motion, we then started to gather resources. Me. It, it, it was me. We started clearing out an area which allowed us to actually obtain tons of resources that we could use to build our home. Oh my gosh, my lady is so exhausted. But she can still play air guitar. With most of our area cleared, we then decided to build our first lean-to, allowing us to save our very first respawn point. It at least that's a nice little neat stack there. Oh no! The ant ruined oh our grass god, pile! Oh my god, what was Troubling that? <laughs> <laughs> well, the ant is... <laughs> that was wow. so rude. Dude, oh my god, he made such a damn mess! Holy crap! Yeah. As nightfall approached, we then decided to sleep in our lean-to, calling it quits to the very first day of our brand new adventure. We started day two by taking a break from building our home and investigating the mysterious machine. We found a tape recording where Dr. Wendell introduced himself as a character and told us, I am tiny! Wait, I wanna push the button. Fine, push the button. Oh, this one's blocked right here. After clearing the obstruction of the first laser, we then noticed that one of the other signals coming from another laser was weakened, so we headed out to find out what was going on. Alright, let's go. During the journey is where Emily discovered that we can actually inspect the insects to learn more about them and discover what abilities they have and what is their weaknesses. Oh, I got it. We arrived at the laser to find lawn mites had been chewing on the cable, weakening it. So we then began by clearing out all of the lawn mites and destroying every single one in our path.
After clearing all the lawn mites, we found some boulders blocking her path. Emily was quick to remove them. We entered the hole and found our very first scabby, which allows you to change the color and scheme of your interface. We headed out of the hole and ran into our very first stink bug. Stink bug. After a long trek, we ended up making it back to the mysterious machine. Emily then activated it, to which we were introduced to our very first cutscene. Check it out. Investigate Oak Tree Explosion. Before we headed out on our adventure, I wanted to gather some resources when I accidentally bumped into some raw science inside a small pond surrounded by gnats. Oh. Found some raw science. What does that do? I am so glad you asked, Emily. If we enter any ASL terminal, raw science is utilized to purchase quests as well as other different materials that we upgrade along the way, such as smithing stations, cookeries, different foods, and all sorts of flooring areas. It's really impressive. While gathering resources in the game, I accidentally got into a scuffle with a red ant, and this is where I learned that you can parry attacks. A parry occurs when you block just before an opponent bites you. After defeating the ant, we added more roasting spits to our campsite. Emily got startled Whoa, by a dandelion. That? Oh, that's a dandelion. And then proceeded to have the hardest time placing a workbench I've ever seen. Where do I want to put it? Uh, somewhere. Good lord. What, dude. Whoa, easy. Just find a Sorry. spot. And... <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> wow, look at that. That was a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> and before we knew it, nightfall fell on us once again, and it was time for us to enter day three. 6 a.m. Rise and shine. On day three, we gathered some resources and chased after some water droplets before heading out on the adventure, which was going to be investigating the tree explosion. To the thick of it. There's an orb weaver over there. Can we take it on? Probably, Probably not. not. As we both agreed to not take on an orb weaver because we're both not ready, we decided to continue our journey through the thick jungle of the grass fields. Aw, oh, ladybug. Ladybug. Once we made it to the base of the tree, we then started gathering sap and acorn sap shells and just to make sure we had them for later use. Cool! All the sap went into the water, what the heck? <laughs> After gathering those resources, we then found another field station, and we discovered an Orb Weaver Jr. that proceeded to attack us violently. Orb Weaver, how are you coming? <gasps> oh, hold on! I'll get there as soon as I can! It's outside, just get out of there and help! Whoa, what a parry, nice! Crap, poison is right! I'm out of stam. Nice parry. We try. Whack. Kill, kill. There we go. There we go. You win. Whew. After that quick fight, that was our very first takedown of an arachnid in the game. Needless to say, after that victory, we were more motivated than ever to continue our journey into the explosion behind the tree, where along the way we've met some terrifying new foes. Um. Oh. Let's go in the hole. Uh uh. Oh no! Uh -uh. Keep it. Wolf spider. <laughs> There's Yikes. two of them in there. One, two. Yeah, there is. That's so scary. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. <laughs> We're gonna die. <laughs> Scared beyond belief, we continued on our journey until we found the entrance to an exploded lab. We have a little lab entrance. Let's go! Inside the lab, we found some resources stacked on shelves, and we also ran into oh. a very cute robot named Burgle. Help Burgle. Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle. 
After helping Burgle up, he then explains to us that he's a creation of Dr. Wendell. His initial creation was to be able to flip burgers at a rapid pace in order to streamline efficiency within the fast food industry. Burgle then explains to us that we've been shrunken down by Dr. Wendell's other invention called the Spacer. The Spacer is responsible for shrinking us on a molecular level. He then tells us of another lab located in the hedge along the side of the house. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the other labs. Except, of course, thousands of angry, hungry insects. <laughs> 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 After receiving all the useful information, we then proceeded to slap open some doors Easy, man. <laughs> and explore the lab. I know, more. she's so aggressive. What is this? Oh, there's a golden tooth back here? Nice. Emily then found our first milk molar, then we exchanged some very suspicious words. I can't bust it. Okay. Requires can't a bust on the mommy milk molar? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> After we finished exploring, we exited the lab and then realized that the sun was heading down and we had to make a break for home as fast as possible. Only stopping to drink something that was not water. Found some puncho. Do you want some puncho. of this? Oh, I mean, I'm not that thirsty, but yeah, if you're more thirsty than I am, you drink it. I already drink it. Okay. Nice. We finally returned to our home after our long journey from the tree where we learned about upcoming adventures and we decided to sleep in order to prepare for the next day. I hate it how when you sleep, it just takes away all of your water. Right. And all of your everything. We just peed ourselves all night. Basically. Like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> on day four, we began construction on our permanent home. Instead of having a campsite, we wanted to have a livable space that we can continue to add storage and continue to expand as our journey continues. Can I build the rest of them? Yes. Found some over here, watch your head. Okay. That didn't work, I tried to throw them. Oop, so far so good. While looking for more resources, I came across an old friend who was not too thrilled to see me. There's an orb weaver after me right now. Oh, yeah, oh I see some help. Oh, yikes. Oh, it's, this is a big boy. Bro. Ah, it killed me. Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? Nope. After being killed by the orb weaver, we gathered our thoughts and came up with a battle strategy to retrieve our stuff from our backpacks and then head straight back into battle to get revenge on our arachnid enemy. Get in! I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> Got him. Thanks! We got our revenge! Can't do this without you. <laughs> After defeating the spider, we then harvested its remains and continued construction on our home. We worked well into the night, not realizing how late it had gotten. We found some lawn mites, took care of them really quickly, and then accidentally ran into a stink bug, which was not all too thrilled to see. Uh, running, 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 running back home. Ah, uh, he still got me? What? Oh, I died. Back in the game. Yeah, close one. We escaped the grasp of the stink bug and we finally made it back to camp where we went to sleep and ended our gaming session there. Alright. Nice. The adventure will continue.